All good. Okay. Good. Good evening, everybody. Good enough with Esther Ike. That's all the German I can speak. Um, so, in case you don't know me, I'm uh, Nicolas Dionysopoulos. I'm the lead developer of Akiba Backup. Um, I wasn't planning on presenting today, honest. It just so happened that the universe had different plans, and the original presenter is uh, sick, so I'm uh, filling in for him. Um, so, how many of you know what Akiba Backup is? All right. Uh, how many of you have never ever heard of it before, at all? <laughs> You're married to me. Okay. So, as you may have heard, there are uh, two different uh, editions of Akiba Backup. Akiba Backup Core, which is the free version and the Kibabaka Professional, which is available for a fee. So I will uh, start this presentation uh, with uh, uh, a few features of the free version that everybody can use. Um, the, the first question that everybody has is, why take a backup of the site at all? Well, it all, it all comes down to four things. First of all, you can mess the site up. I mean, you're human, right? You think that uh, I don't really need this article, delete it, empty the trust, then go to the front and you're like, oh, actually, that was the main page of the site. <laughs> and of course, your client can, can mess the site up. However, when they call you, they're like, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Well, the truth is that they have always touched everything. <coughs> The easiest way to roll back their didn't touch anything is restoring a backup. Your host can mess the site up. This is even better because just like your client, they're like, we didn't do anything. Well, there are deleted files, the permissions have changed, uh, the whole .dot .ht access is rearranged, so your idea of nothing is different than mine. So then again, the backup can save you. And, of course, a hacker can mess the site up. Nobody wants that to happen to their sites. Eventually, it will happen. It better be prepared. And, of course, as Donald Rumsfeld very eloquently put it, there are known knowns, known unknowns, and unknown unknowns. <laughs> it is the latter category that tend to be the difficult ones. In plain English, shit happens. <laughs> so, why choose Akiba Backup? Uh, as, I, as I have been saying since I was first doing this presentation in 2010 and 2011, Akiba Backup doesn't make backing up your site possible. It only makes it easier. But I might be a little biased on that because I have written it. I will just tell you what a user wrote to us a couple of days ago. Uh, they had a catastrophic failure of their site. Uh, their site was completely gone. Uh, the mm -hmm. only thing he had to go by was a backup he had took with Akiba Backup. And he's, he concluded his uh, recount of the event saying that once our host set up our account on a UVPS, I pushed up the last full site backup, crossed my fingers. Needless to say, within minutes the entire site was back up and running perfectly. If you don't believe me, you can look up the actual ticket. It's public at that sort URL, ikey.ba slash Rick. Rick is our user. Um, so how do you take a backup with Akiba Backup 4, the free version? <coughs> it's actually really simple. The first thing we will do is install Akiba Backup. <coughs> Let it configure itself so we don't have to do anything. And then just click to take a backup. Internet wheeling, I will do a live demo. 
So, uh, this will be duplicate. Okay, do you see a browser? Yes. This is a demo site that I made up today. So, let's go to the administrator. Okay, extensions, manage. So, normally, over here, you should have installed from web. If the internet was working, you could just, you, you would just see a Kiva backup, click on it, and it would allow you to install it. This morning, the internet was working, and I could do that. I did that five times to make sure that I can do a live demo. But as always, whenever there is a live demo, the internet doesn't work. So instead, I'm going to pretend that I had downloaded a Kiva backup from our site and install it using upload package file. So it should be somewhere. Uh, downloads. That was my backup in case the internet doesn't work. <laughs> Kiva backup core. Upload and install. <coughs> <laughs> For a minute there, I was afraid that my computer crashed. <laughs> so now under components, you have Akiva Backup. And this is how you configure, you let it configure itself. You just click on Configuration Wizard. Now it's time to go make yourself a tea or coffee. You have about half a minute to do that. The longest part is this, where it tries to see if it can wait for 25 seconds without the server breaking. We need some holding music here. <laughs> That's great, it's like having my, my own phone center. All right, so now that it's done configuring itself, we can click on Backup now. <coughs> we don't need to enter anything. This is optional if you want to add the, uh, a description just so that you remember what you were backing up. Just sit back and enjoy. It will take about uh, half a minute on this machine. If you have um, a Linux server, uh, slightly modern. A full backup would be complete in like 10 seconds or so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, when I was practicing this earlier this morning, everything worked faster. Because reasons. Okay. The backup is actually done. Uh, I won't go to manage backups yet. I have to go back to the rest of the presentation. To me, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That's. That's, that's, that's interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Yes. So, of course everything will go wrong since the next slide is called Trouble. Yeah, if you actually have trouble with the software instead of your setup, you can watch the video tutorials. Uh, you can watch them free of charge. Uh, they are not me talking because as you might hear, I have an accent. And when I try to do stuff on the computer and talk, my accent gets worse. So we hired Brian Timman, who's a native English speaker and also Joomla co-founder and great Joomla tutor uh, to do the videos. Uh, if you are not feeling like uh, watching the videos, you can read our documentation, which is, I would say, very thorough. Uh, has anyone read the documentation back to back? 
Has anyone briefly considered the possibility of reading it back to back? <laughs> no? Okay. I'm sorry. But, yeah. It's because the documentation is about this thick. Uh, but you should be able to find everything. If something is not there, then it's in the troubleshooter, which is also under documentation on our site. Uh, of course, you can search our public tickets. All of that is available to everybody. And if you have a subscription to Akiba Backup, you can uh, ask, ask for support. So your ticket will be replied by either me or Davide, the other developer, or uh, Dale, who's been doing support for us for 10 years. Um, all of that is a bit scattered around our site, but uh, in a few months, weeks, in a few weeks, we will have fixed that and have a unified support page where you can just type your problem and receive one of these things as a result automatically. At this point, I want to stress uh, how to prevent the most common problem. An untested backup is not a backup. So if you come to me and say, oh, my backup actually doesn't work, it was broken, I had never realized, sorry, there is so much we can do. So we need to test the backups. Testing the backups is the same as restoring the backups. Speaking of restoration, there are actually two ways to restore backups. The first one is restoration in place. Uh, for the last six years, it was only available for the paid version, the professional version. Uh, since a couple of uh, releases ago, it's now available in the core version, the free one. How do you restore your site? It's uh, a matter of going to the Manage Backups page where you have the list of all your backups. Check one which has an OK status, which means that it is available for restoration, and then click Restore and follow the instructions on your screen. So I will attempt to do that. Hopefully, this will work better because it doesn't require an internet connection. So, what if your host messed up? If your host messed up, it's the next bit of the presentation. Okay. So, going to the Manage Backups page. Uh, in case you don't remember how to restore your site, the first time you go to the Manage Backups page, there is this big pop-up. If you click on Remind Me next time, you will get the same pop-up next time, otherwise just say, got it. And it's now on top of the Manage Backups page. So you cannot say that you forgot how to restore your site. Hopefully. So, here we have the one and only backup we ever took. The status is OK. So we check it here. We got the toolbar and click on Restore. It's taking a bit too long. Why does the why does the time say uh, sixteen to twelve and not seventeen to twelve? Uh, it's because this is in UTC as you see right but below. But it's new, or not? Hmm? The restore function is new. Yes, it didn't exist in the core version, and there is a very distinct possibility that my computer has crashed now. Of course. Is the reason used UTC uh, time? Yeah, it's always UTC. Why? So, you take a backup. You, let's say that you have a, a site <coughs> with multiple administrators. One administrator is in Athens, one is in uh, uh, Berlin, and the other one is in Los Angeles. When was the backup taken? Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic, my computer actually crashed. Did you make a backup? 
<laughs> yes, unfortunately, the backup of the computer is uh, it, it, it is halfway across Europe. Um, <laughs> it was just a joke, but but it's very important to make backups of the PC too. <laughs> okay, let let me just go back to the demo site. Okay. Good. Let's go to Miles Backups again. Splendid. Now it worked. Restore. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Yay. It's because I said that it can't go wrong since there is uh, nothing to do with the internet connection. Okay, so let's start the restoration. We don't need to enter any other options. This is to, uh, for encrypted backup archives, which are only available for the professional release. So. Start the restoration. <coughs> it will take just a little while because it's trying to extract 30 odd megabytes of data uh, which are in this nice demo site. And Windows is not known for its fast file system. Quite the contrary. Great. So uh, you get some instructions in case you're not sure what to do. Basically, it comes down to click the big run the site restoration script button. Seriously? Okay. The screen is quite compressed in these dimensions. But we scroll down. There is a next button here. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Normally the next button is very <coughs> visible, but due to the projector being tiny. Come on. Just click. Alright. Uh, since we are storing on the same site, the database information is already pre-filled for us, so we don't have to do anything except click on Next. In case you missed the pattern here, we just click on Next to out. Next step. We don't need to change any configuration options for the site, so just click Next again. I mean, there, there's something wrong. Oh, wow. It's because it's a live demo. Live demos never work. Yeah, I mean, I, I did that so many times before today, and okay. Now, the question is did that break your site, too? Um, nope. Maybe it was because you didn't test the backup. <laughs> I did. That's the fun thing. Well, you restored it, but you didn't test it. <laughs> I actually have a, a good suspicion of what's going wrong. Since the internet is so unstable, it... Okay. Yes. Finally. Right. Uh, we just need to remove the installation directory, so the restoration script goes away. and close this tab. Back to where we started, click on finalize restoration and your site is ready. Yep, we're logged in, just fine. Okay, so that was how to restore over the same site in case there was only some minor damage. Uh, in case you want to restore your site somewhere else to a different uh, host, 
or a different subdomain or a different directory, or on the same site if it has been completely destroyed and you cannot log in, um, there is a way to restore your site from scratch. The process is getting a Kiba Kickstart, which is available free of charge. It's a PHP script which allows you to extract the backup archive, upload it together with the backup archive on your server, and run it. And then it's following the same restoration uh, script as before. And I should have known not to do live demos, but here I am. I will try to do it again. Hopefully this time it will work. Okay. Let me go to my FTP. <coughs> Seriously? Okay. So I'm connected to my site with FTP. The backups by default are stored inside administrator components. Komakiba backup. Uh, so I'm going to directly copy this file to the site I am restoring to. And let me also get Kickstart. So Kickstart is available for, for download from our site, akibabackup.com. Uh, since the internet is completely dead, I won't even try to visit the site because I did right before the presentation and no site works. Uh, you have to wait about three minutes to get uh, the Google search page. So thankfully I have downloaded here. It's a zip file. I can extract it here. It has a lot of files. Most of the files are just uh, uh, languages, translations, so you will need, I believe this, uh, yeah, there is no Austrian uh, Deutsch, so you, you will have to use the German Deutsch, and uh, the kickstart.php file, which is somewhere over here, here, okay, I need that file. Uploaded here. Okay, so what? Ads, this is ridiculous. Good. Okay, so my new site only has Kickstart and the backup archive. I'm running Kickstart. It has already figured out that we only have one backup archive and pre selected it for us. So all I have to do is scroll all the way down and click the big start button. And it will start extracting the backup archive. So as you remember, it's the 30 odd gigabyte, uh, megabytes. If it was gigabytes, it would take days. Uh, it's slowly extracting everything. Just have to wait. Getting there. So most of the work you have to do when using a Kiba backup is staring at the screen. Mm -hmm. Or you can get up and make an espresso. I mean, that's too many espressos. <laughs> All right. Run the installer. It's the same thing we had to do on the other side. Click on next. However, now that we're restoring on a different site, the database information is empty because we need to set up a new database. At this point, if you have not created a database, go to your, to your uh, hosting control panel and create a new database and user and remember to assign the user to the database with all privileges. Um, 
this is one of the common questions. Uh, I have created a database and user, but it doesn't work. Did you connect them? No. So, uh, okay. I'm also going to change the database prefix just because I can and because it's a different site and you shouldn't have two sites with the same prefix because it is asking for trouble like if one gets hacked then the hacker knows information about the other site and so on and so forth and where is my next button over here <coughs> now we're starting the database done um, in this page, you can change some of the basic information of the site. So instead of demo site, uh, I will rename it to clone site. I'm not going to set up a live site URL because on Windows, it doesn't work. If you try to do that, things break. Uh, no need to set anything else. Uh, I could change the password for uh, the user or uh, temporary directory and log directory and stuff like that. And when I'm done, I can just click on next. Now it tells us that we have to close this tab, go back where we were and click clean up. So let's see the front end of the site. It's a perfect copy of the site we had before. So we have restored the site on a different location. And remember that this works on the same site, on the same site, same server, different server, wherever you want. So you can use it to take a copy of your live site into your local machine and develop on it, and then use the same process to transfer it back to live. So, as I mentioned before, uh, we also have uh, another version of Akiba Backup called Akiba Backup Professional, which is the uh, version only made available to our paying subscribers, and it has some uh, professional-only features. The most important one is that it can automatically transfer your backups to a remote storage, like Amazon. S3, S3, Cloud Files, Dropbox, OneDrive, uh, WebDAV, Box.net, SFTP, um, FTP servers, and quite a few others that you can read in the documentation. In total, and uh, including third-party services, it can transfer your backups archives to something like 43 uh, different <coughs> um, uh, file storage solutions. Uh, so, it is important to be able to do that because what happens if your server crashes or if your host goes bankrupt or uh, as it happened uh, a few years ago, you're hosted on, uh, on that host who lost all of their machines. Everything was wiped out, they had no backups of their own, all their clients were screwed. If your only backups were on the same server, your site was gone. The other feature we offer is encrypted archives, uh, the JPS format. Uh, all the contents of the backup archive are encrypted with uh, the Ryan Dial algorithm, which is pretty much the same as uh, AES-128. That's really strong encryption that the US government is using for uh, up to top secret uh, clearance. So you can say that it's quite safe. For advanced users, you can include off-site directories and additional databases, which is important if uh, uh, you're running other stuff besides 
your uh, Joomla site on the same uh, domain. For example, uh, you may have a, uh, I don't know, a Magento shop or a photo gallery or a forum, like a PHP V3 forum. If they're using a different database or they have uh, files in directories outside of the Joomla web route, with the professional version, you can include all of that in the same backup archive and restore them, of course. For the very advanced users, uh, you can exclude files, folders, and database data, not just by uh, clicking the different items, as you can the core version, but also with regular expressions. For the very, very advanced users, you can have automated, unattended restoration of sites using a software called Akiba Unite. Um, you give it an XML file with the database connection information, and Akiba Unite can restore your backup archive without any human interaction whatsoever. It can also take a remote backup of your site so uh, you can use it to automatically clone a site. It's very advanced, that's why it's only available at the professional release. Uh, if you need help, actually, you need to talk to me or David. Speaking of which, if you're a subscriber, of course, you get support from the developers and not just community support you can get from other users. At this point, I would have done a live demo, but Having seen that the internet connection is dead, uh, I, I can't. My plan was to show you how to link with Dropbox. Uh, I cannot do that because the Dropbox page doesn't load. I mean, if the install from web page didn't load, then Dropbox is completely dead. So you will have to take my word for it or go to our site and see our video tutorials which actually demonstrate the process very, very thoroughly and in a much better accent than mine. You can ask me anything <coughs> before you do. Uh, if you are planning on becoming a subscriber, uh, you can use the coupon code JD1680 until uh, Christmas Day. Uh, you will get a 20% off any subscription you want. And if you want to download the slides, which have links to everything, uh, the, the URL is aki.pa slash jd1680. So it's quite simple to, to remember. It's the Akiba presentation at Zoomla Day 16 Austria. Uh, questions? Yes, Peter? Um, I have the professional edition. Yes. Akiba backup. And I really rocks because I use it with uh, Dropbox. Thank you. And I do it all automatically. Uh, some sites once a month, some sites once a week, some sites, some sites daily. However, some customers still have the free version, and when I installed the paid version in the past, I had to install it two times. This is this is actually a Joomla bug. And that, it's still there. I still it have e it exists first. since Joomla 1.5.6. The thing is that. I cannot know exactly what it's triggering it because it's not very, it's not reproducible. It has happened to me twice and both times I tried to debug it and then it disappeared. It's uh, like Srenikir's cut, that bug. So my working hypothesis is that Joomla is casting the list of directories in the extension uh, based on the extension manifest. If that changes from one version to the other, Joomla is only copying files from the directories it already knows, not from the directories in the manifest which is inside the packets. Uh, but I'm not sure why this is happening sometimes and not every time. It's like Sometimes it forgets to read the manifest from the packets. If you can reproduce it reliably, please tell me how I'm trying to debug this thing for so many years. Well, I'm just trying, I'm just following your advice and install it two times and then it works. Yeah, if, if, you, if you can find a, a site where this can be reproduced, 
please email me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kill that bug for the longest time. Uh, someone else? Uh, Again, Peter? There was a question that yeah. um, last week um, a customer sent me uh, a zip file with uh, the back Akiva Backup uh, JPR. I mean, Akiva Backup in it. Mm -hmm. I didn't have uh, my coffee yet, and I was trying to uh, get them back, and both failed. And both sent me to the website uh, with a uh, Documentation that it said something like uh, JSON error, blah, blah 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 blah. And I was thinking about asking for a real tested backup of the, of the site. But I had coffee first, and then I discovered that she didn't send me a zip file with two JPA files in it, but there were two zip files in it. And I could not, when I unzipped the zip file, it became a JPA, and then I could just easily install it. But I needed coffee for that. Oh, God. So, wait. He took the compressed backup and put it in a zip file? Yes. And then there's those zip files again in the zip file. <laughs> that, that, that's like the, the Inception yeah. archive. I think that your client needs the coffee more than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, get him a coffee pot as, as a present. OK. Yes. Yeah. All right, any other questions, any at all? You can ask me anything. It doesn't have to be about technical backup. I believe we have time. We have four minutes. I can easily answer one more question. No. Going once, going twice. OK. Uh, that's all, folks. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>